Okay, I think a great place to start the beginner math series is with area. This is a foundational concept you need to know. You need to be able to find area, but you also need to be able to uh, build on top of it to find volume and flow rates and all sorts of stuff. So, for those of you who are unaware, area is expressed in square feet. So SQFT, it might be written out on your exam, it might come up like that, or written with a FT with a little two up top. That's an, called an exponent in math. It, in this case, a number two means squared, okay? So foot squared. And, and what, what are we talking about with square feet? Let's take this square, for instance. It's how many one foot by one foot squares will fit in that square. A circle, same, one foot by one foot squares in the circle. And just so you know, this does not have to be a whole number. It can be a decimal. It's oftentimes a decimal. Uh, so... Yeah, that's, that is what square feet are. That is what we're talking about when we discuss area. The three most common shapes you're gonna need to know are the circle, the square or rectangle, and the trapezoid. The circle becomes a tank, a cylindrical tank or cylindrical clarifier or basin. Uh, so uh, you need to know the square footage in order to know the cubic footage. That's coming in the next video, but just so you know, this I'm kind of hinting at what we use this to build on. So this is probably the most common shape you're gonna find on an exam. Then the next would be the square or rectangle. Uh, they're gonna be grouped in this lesson as the same because it's the same equation. And then the trapezoid, uh, which the trapezoid becomes a flow channel. You know, there's some trapezoidal shaped flow channels out there. So uh, we're gonna go through each one of these individually in, in an individual segment in this video. I want to give you a brief overview of the equations. If you don't want to stick around for the longhand math, I'll just give you the quick rundown. To find surface area on a circle, it's going to be 0.785 diameter squared or 3.14 radius squared. You might have also heard this said as pi r squared. We'll get into pi when we do the circle segment, okay? And we'll get into diameter and radius as well. I'll explain all of that. The next, to find area on a square or rectangle, you will multiply the length and width, or you might see this as length and height. So it's gonna be up and down, just two dimensions. And then trapezoid is going to be bottom plus top. So the length and length, bottom plus top, divided by two, multiplied by the height. Okay, so we're going to go through each one of these and I'll explain them in greater detail. So let's go ahead and start with the circle. Okay, let's talk about the area of a circle in square feet. <clears throat> so in front of you, you see a circle with a radius and a circle with a diameter. The diameter is the furthest point to furthest point across a circle. Okay, so it's what the linear feet across a circle is. Uh, the radius is half of that. It's the center of the circle to an outer edge, whatever the linear feet of that is. So you can solve for area using either the radius or the diameter. I prefer using diameter and I'll explain in a little bit why that is. But if you like doing radius, that is perfectly fine. So you will have a question that says you have a five foot radius circle uh, and you need to find the square feet. Well, since I prefer diameter, I would multiply five times two to get 10. If you prefer radius and you get a question that tells you what the diameter of the circle is, what you would do is divide 10 divided by two, it's half, 10 divided by two is five. Okay, so I, I wanted to use the same number here so you can see how you'll get the same exact answer using a 10 foot diameter circle which is the equivalent of a five foot radius circle. So just bear with me here. I, I know I'm over explaining it, but I, I don't wanna leave anybody, anybody behind. Okay, let's first start with radius. Um, in order to solve for the surface area of a circle with radius, you need something called pi. Those of you who remember from middle school geometry, please excuse my horrible art, but that is pi uh, and it equals 3.14. For the sake of wastewater exam math, you only ever really go two decimal places, okay? Um, if you get an answer with six decimal places, which you very well may on your calculator, 
you uh, would round that to the second decimal place. That's a pretty good rule of thumb, okay? Uh, a note about calculators. In California, they now give you your calculator. Read your test instructions for your specific state and exam requirements. S before COVID, and uh, California did an in-person exam set up and you had to bring your own calculator and it could not be scientific. You couldn't store equations in there. So just look at your uh, invitation letter to the test and it'll give you instructions on what you can and cannot bring. But in California now, uh, at least at the testing sites I've been to, and I've taken three exams under the new test setup, uh, they give you a calculator. Okay, so just a quick note about calculators. So 3.14 is pi. So let's solve to the rate this uh, square feet on a circle using the radius. The equation is pi r squared, which means 3.14, times radius, times radius, okay? Squared means that value multiplied by itself two times. So what that looks like is 3.14 times five feet, times five feet, and then we'd move down to 3.14 times 25 feet squared, because we multiply the units too, not just the number, but the unit. So foot times foot is square foot. And then we move on to our final answer, which is 78.5 square feet. This is how I solve for math. You may do it differently. This is just, since high school, this is how I've done math, uh, is, is dropping each step down like this. Do what works for you. Um, if this is confusing for you and you want me to solve it a different way using equal signs and stuff like that, I, I can just, just put in the comments and, and I'll do my best to uh, help you guys out with that. Okay, diameter, which is this, a 10 foot diameter circle is the same as a five foot radius circle. Here we go. 0.785 diameter squared is that equation. Where does that come from? Uh, this is why I like diameter, is this memory tool was so helpful for me when I was learning to do this math. A circle takes up 78.5% of the area of the corresponding square. Well, what are we looking for? Square feet. And so if I know that a circle takes up 78.5% of the square feet of a square, <laughs> it's pretty uh, easy for me to remember that that's how I'm gonna to get to square feet. That's a great memory tool for me. If that made no sense to you at all, that's fine. Use pi, it's, it's great, whatever you wanna use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 0.785 diameter squared, right here, diameter times diameter, which comes out to 0.785 times 10 feet times 10 feet. And that's then 0.785 times 100 square feet, 10 times 10 is 100, feet times feet is square feet and that gets me 78.5 square feet. So we've just demonstrated, you, there's more than one way to do these things. Um, as, you, as we get through the math and we get into more advanced calculations, you're gonna see, I'm gonna do it a certain way and you may know a different way to do it and that's perfectly okay. What's most important is that you get the correct answer and you're comfortable with how you execute the math. Okay, so uh, this is the most difficult that we're doing today. I, I wanted to kind of bring the big bats out first uh, the rest of it's going to be a breeze, but the reason I brought this one out first is it is the most common. They, it is a test. There's not a lot of softballs on these tests. They want to see that you know what you're doing. Okay, uh, let's move on to squares and rectangles. All right, let's talk about the square feet of a rectangle and a square. What is a rectangle? It is a four-sided object and two of the sides are the same length and the other two sides are the same length. Okay, so there's this one would be a 10 foot by five foot rectangle. And a square is four sided object with all equal sides. <clears throat> okay, um, I wanna introduce you to this if you're not familiar with it. Um, the little apostrophe, the, it can be written like this on the higher level exams. You might as well just learn this now. That little apostrophe means feet and the quotation mark means inches. So that's 10 feet by five feet five feet by five feet, but if it had a little quotation, it'd be inches. All right, so just, just know that for the future. Um, these are very simple. So I'm gonna just breeze through the squares and rectangles real quick, and then we're gonna move on to trapezoids. So it's length times width. The length of this rectangle is 10 feet. The width is five feet. Okay, so 10 times five is 50. Feet by feet is square feet, 50 square feet. Very, very simple. Same with a square. If 
5 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25 feet by feet is square feet. So that square is 25 square feet. Um, you're not going to get as many of these because you can see how simplistic it is. Uh, the, like I said in the last segment, the circle is the most common shape you're going to run into. But you do need to know this. So it's worth mentioning. I'm not going to take for granted that you know how to do this just because it's so straightforward. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. And let's move to trapezoids. All right, let's talk about the trapezoid. This is actually a little harder than the square and the rectangle. Um, so if you imagine what a trapezoid is, it's like a rectangle with unequal top and bottom uh, widths, but that has the same height. So what you do is you take the average of the top and the bottom and then multiply it by the height. So what that equation looks like is top plus bottom divided by two, because there's two numbers here. So you're taking an average. If you have more questions about how to do averages, uh, please put it in the comments below. I can, like, we can work through some average problems so you understand what I'm talking about. Top plus bottom divided by two multiplied by the height. Okay, so what does that look like? I've got a trapezoidal flow channel. Let's say I've got an oxidation ditch <clears throat> and I need to know what the square footage is of the trapezoid itself. So top is 25 foot across, but if you were to go down below and drain it, you know, take all the uh, liquid out, you would see that the bottom is only five feet and you've got these sloped walls, five feet across, sloped walls, but it's 10 feet tall. So how do I find that? What I do is I take, let's go over here, 25 plus five divided by two multiplied by 10 feet. Okay, so let's work this out first. It's within our parentheses, so we're gonna work that first. 25 plus five is 30 feet. And then we move on to the next step, which is to divide 30 by two, and that is 15. So 30 divided by two is 15. So 15 feet times 10 feet equals 150 feet. Uh, if I lost you in there, please let me know, but that's about as basic as it gets. Uh, plug that in your calculator. 25 plus five is 30, and we're averaging it out. Divided by two is 15, and then we multiply the 10 feet in. So 15 feet times 10 feet, 15 times 10 is 150 feet by feet is square feet. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up area. Hopefully that made sense to you. Um, if you are having a, uh, issues with the way I'm explaining it, please put it in the comments below, ask questions. Um, how I get better at communicating with you is by getting feedback from you. If this is working for you, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel so we can get this information out to those who are studying for their tests right now and are having trouble with these concepts. If you have a question, again, please put it in the comments. I'm more than happy to get more basic or you all tell me, hey, this is way too basic. Let's go more advanced. That's fine too. Uh, but, you know, we got to start somewhere. So, Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one where we're going to do volume.